Hello, welcome back to co-op with another random rapper. Today it is... I love my wife. Oh, Chance. What's up? Yeah, I, told, I know I told this story uh, on stream, but I was watching The Price is Right one day and some kid came on to The Price is Right. He got called on down. He looked like he was probably like... I think it was a high school kid because they were doing like a high school week and it was a senior and he just had a shirt. I love my wife. I'm still wondering if it was a Chance the Rapper reference or not. I'm pretty sure it was, because why else would it be? I mean, he can just love his wife. He's 18. I don't think he has a wife. <laughs> he could have a wife. He could have a wife, but I don't know. Drew Carey went, hey, this kid loves his wife. And I went, yeah, he does Drew Carey. And so does Chance the Rapper. Which is who I am. Yeah, that's you. Thank you for joining me, Chance. Thank you for taking a chance on this series. Oh no! <laughs> Starting off pretty good, right? Is, is this my is this my big day on YouTube? <laughs> oh no! Has he okay. released another album yet? No, that was that was like less than a year ago. He's got to take some time. Does he though? I think take some time to like reflect on how to make a better album. I mean, it's only up from here. You ready to begin? Yeah. Another random, random. Let's do it. So last time we were Umbra melting, right? I believe so. Yeah, I think this or melting Umbra. One, one of the two. I remember it was funny because you were like, "Oh God, I've been playing so much of whatever this is. I hope we don't get it again." Mm-hmm. And then we did. Well, today we are melting Awoken. Before oh. the rework, I used to say that this was the worst clan combo. What about after? I, after the rework, I think it's Umbra melting, but melting Awoken is a pretty close second. Yeah, this one's pretty weird. I th I think with the cards we have right now, though, mm -hmm. like I th I think this is pretty good if we get uh if we get Burnout Rector for our uh, champion. Oh yeah, Burnout Rector. Res removal is pretty garbage here, but but uh, like yeah. I, I'm like I'm liking this start if we get uh Burnout Rector. Yeah, I think that if, if we don't, I think we're I think we're screwed. <laughs> well, we can we can have an there's like good sweeps in this clan. We can have Harvest Rector be our solo plan. I had this pretty recently with uh, Melting Stygian, where I took Harvest Rector and then I put a sweep unit and a scaling heavy killer behind him and just rolled everything over. But that requires us to get the right units. Hollow yeah, dripping. In, in theory, I guess uh, Shattered Shell could do both. Yeah, Shattered Shell is a pretty good pickup for Harvest, but let's see what we get first of all. I think there's oh, no money. question. Money. Yeah, and I, like, don't talk to me. Infuse now, and I used to say, is no big deal, and you can always take it, except for I hate using it against Sycophants, it just kills you. Mm -hmm. I, I uh -huh. think it's still worth it in general. Mm -hmm. We're oh. playing Burnout. Hell yeah, let's go. I wonder if Harvest would have been better. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, it's it's interesting. I I think with this we can kind of just ignore uh Awoken and just go commit to like kind of like uh melting cards and like just use it as like support like you know healing cards to keep Rector from not dying. Yeah, I think we'll still want to pick up an Awoken or Thorn Hollow to kill Seraph. Probably preferably Awoken Hollow since it's chased, but we're uh, still gonna need to use Awoken. I think that you don't have a great boss killing strategy in melting, personally. I think we can take this trial for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I had I had a run recently. I was just playing off stream, mm -hmm. and I, yeah, it, it, it won. It was against it was against uh, Chase, which is still in my like. I, I think your opinion is not the same as mine. Right. In my opinion, I don't know. I just struggle so much against Chase. Um, but I had a I had a run that was rejuvenate awoken uh, as like the main carry of the run, putting regen on it. Okay. And I I pivoted into hold over unleash the wildwood to keep it alive, and I just kept all my saps till the very end. Oh. And uh, I think I did like I forget what I put something behind it to actually kill things though, because I wasn't killing as much because I didn't have a uh, regen on uh, the sentient, but it was just like it was weird. It was the like one how I actually had regen kind of help me not lose a chair uh Sarah the chased yeah i think that chased you look at uh, what i find is that chased is actually a bait you go oh i can't go this plan because it's Seraph the chased and in reality you can just go your buff or debuff plan you just have to do it really really well like we can still go a regen plan in this deck we just have to do a regen plan really well 
I, I mean, agree. I think that this is Wicked Blaze. Um, can we look at the deck again for a second before we yeah. pick? But... Sure. Yeah, it's not it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Obviously, yeah. we can like we can just put a drag in the back here and boom, or like Wicked Blaze and put it in the back for like a relentless combat, and it'll help out quite a bit. Yeah, and I mean, we just want card. We want a card that says Reform, so that if Rector some like if on the next combat we somehow miss our Hollow Drippings in the first three rounds, we still don't lose the game instantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't think these cards. I mean, Molten Encasement's okay, but worse with Burnout Rector and Draft is just weird. Yeah, I I, I kind of think there is a slight argument for uh, the Molten Encasement, if uh, you know, but preferably if we already had Intent on Death, because I really like that combo. Yeah, it's but just, even then, it's not that great with the uh, Burnout Rector. Yeah, with what we're going to be doing, I think it's not worth the slot personally. Mm -hmm. Razor Sharp Edge is good if we get a good unit for it. Yeah, it's, I think it's a pretty good... Because worst case scenario, we just throw it on Rekt on Rekt yeah. still, and it's like, okay. And those and other two cards. We, we pick up a, uh, an Animus of Will here. And Right Path. Look yeah, I... there's, no, there's no spells we need upgrades for right now, I guess. I mean, like it wouldn't hurt to have some spell upgrades, I guess. Yeah, we could... I mean, minus right. one hold over Wicked Blaze is probably a winning play. But we I, don't I think need we want to we wanna look for, like, Lady of the Reformed or whatever yeah. here. Interesting to point out, this is only a three banner run. We don't see two Awoken banners. So we may only have two chances at getting a good Awoken unit here. Okay, well, let's see it. Yeah, what we got in here? Large plus 25 and plus 10. Oh. Can we do the biggest sludge? Uh, he's, you know, of of the units, he's a little worse against Seraph the Chaste because his uh, rage yeah, gets rage. cut down. I don't I don't hate Paraffin Thug here giving it a large stone and just sticking it behind the uh, Rector for like the early game, but that's obviously not a good late game plan. Yeah, so both of these plans are early game strong and then at setter if they're going to be relatively weak and we need something mm -hmm. else by then. I think Big Sludge much more so weak at, at Seraph just because he needs to build up that rage over time and he won't. Yeah, he's gonna really struggle. And he's he like he's really gonna have trouble building up rage just as a whole since it's gonna be hard for him to get kills. But I don't hate taking big sludge and then just being powerful for the next five floors. I I I, I do like how we can also just take Thug and jam Larson on him right now and fit him behind. Rex. Yeah, that's a good point. I do believe that when you have an option like Paraffin Thug with something good in the shop form, right? Because you can't really swing large stone on big sludge here. I don't think. No, I I we we, we will. We, we could, but then he's on a floor by himself. Yeah, I think the Harvest units and uh, Gourd units, putting Large Stone on them is usually a bait. There's some yeah. exceptions, like Allied Construct needs it, but for the most part I think it's wrong to do. You think Paraffin Thug here? Um... I don't hate it, but I think yeah. the question is, do you want to take... Do you want to put Large Stone on it, or do you want to re-roll the shop? I think we just put Large Stone on it. Large stone multi strike on him means that he can just kind of chill, right? He's in the late game. He's still gonna be seventy damage, which is pretty good, if we find it, and yeah. he'll pay for himself. One thing to keep in mind is that if we do want to go with uh, a a hollow as a tank for him, we will need to take a size upgrade then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Hmm. I think it's fine to do it still. I agree, because we don't we don't even need to have him be a DPS behind the the hollow. Yeah, we, we can, can put just... a mind rector. We can find a different unit maybe to go behind uh, uh, a hollow. Mm, that's a good point, though. I mean, how do you feel about giving him the budget large stone here of just plus twenty five plus ten? He'll do thirty damage and just kind of chill. It means that we can never put multi strike on him. That's true. But if we're gonna go for an awoken hollow, we will want to put multi strike on that anyway. That is a good point. Um, yeah, I kind of don't hate that then. It's weird though because the like the entire reason. To... I don't. I don't think we even want to. I mean, there's, that was a lot of things you have to think about. Because if I, I was gonna say we don't even have to put the heart stone on them, we could just go with the strength stone and leave it as now. Mm -hmm. um, but then the, the issue comes up is that pyro wings will kill him later. Yeah, and chase. We need to find an answer. Yeah. Let's take a look at all of our enemies here. It is curse fell. Okay, so there's no, the only sweep that's guaranteed is this floor. 
This is an interesting one for sure. There's a lot of choices here to make. So we could go plus 25 and then multi-strike and he'll be a little weaker, of course. I don't, I think I don't hate the large stone and in the worst case, he just kind of goes on his own, right? Yeah, I, I think, I think, I don't like the budget stone just because I like the idea of putting multi-strike on him and then him yeah. making us more money than we even spent on him in the first place, right? Yeah, I um, think that if we want him to be a viable damage dealer, we have to give him multi-strike. The problem is if we give him large stone multi-strike, he just doesn't fit anywhere, but I think that that's okay. Well, he fits behind Rector. For now, but ideally, now, yeah. ideally Rector's gonna have a lady in front of him. I guess if Rector doesn't get a lady, then I mean, worst case scenario, the actual worst case scenario, we can go, we can go, Lady Rector, Paraffin Thug on the middle floor to clean up, and then a Hollow on the third floor to yeah. just stack up regen while we build up uh, the the attack boost on it. Yeah, I think that that's the right play. I think mm -hmm. I agree. I'm gonna large stone him. Okay. Locking it in. And then we just leave this, unless you want to purge this is, a card. This is, where it, this is where it feels like we're going to lose uh, four floors from now, and we're going to be like, well, it felt like there was nothing we could do, but this is like the point where, with perfect knowledge, we would, you know, go on the correct path. Maybe. I don't know. I think that this is a really strong uh, setup for the next, like, three or four floors. I think we... Yeah, I, I agree. It's definitely strong for now, but like I feel like when we... If we do lose, this is like the point where if we had, if we had played a little riskier and, like, gone for, like, a... A narrower strategy like oh plus 10 attack and then wait for multi-strike or something right like yeah maybe it's a strong but also a safe strategy that we're going for but like with perfect knowledge who knows what would happen right right you're right i i think we really want this trial but i don't know if we can take this trial i, I think we can take it like we just put, like, I guess there's the the issue that I see happening here is if we get the small the the size downgrade on third floor. Yeah. Then then we're forced to fight the rage boys at full damage, and that's a little scary. Uh, but if we can fight, if you know, it's a it's a one in three shot here of us getting screwed. So if we put them on top floor, we we should be okay ish. What do we have as far as like direct damage? Anything really? We have razor sharp edge. Oh, actually, actually, that's a little scarier. Yeah. Oh, but we do have resin removal. That's true. We can clear out all of their rage. I don't like it though. I, that. I think we don't need to, right? Yeah, I, I'm in agreement. Although, like, maybe we do need to, since we only have one awoken banner. We really want to find an awoken unit, because I don't. Uh, it's, it's not impossible to win this run without finding an awoken hollow or thorn hollow, but the run makes it a lot easier if we have one of them. I agree. So I guess we can we can but, but can we can we survive like, like yeah. if Rector I mean I guess I guess we do have the option if Rector dies to reform him with uh what's it called Wicked Blaze yeah so I'm not as concerned I think I think we can do it but it is a little scary the problem is just the amount of higher damage we're gonna take here because we're gonna have the backliners go up each time and so that's gonna be nine it's gonna be. 10 and then 9, or 10 and then, oh wow, that's a lot of damage. It's like 24 damage, most likely. Because there's going to be, there, there's four enemies on each wave. Yeah. And the haste enemies, we only, we only can kill two of them ever. We do have detonations, so we can sometimes, maybe if we're lucky, kill a couple more. Yeah. I think that this is, I think it's better to skip this, and then we just hope that at the Awoken Banner or Daedalus we find the hollow. Okay, that's but, fair. It's it's just it's a lot of damage. Yeah. Although I, I again again more if we had perfect information easier mm -hmm. to decide right. Uh, but I I do like I it, it's it's pretty scary. We could also it's, just flat out die. So it's scary. But here's the the other the flip side of it's scary. And I've been trying to do this a little more often. Is we have the health right. We're at forty health. It's a threat of roughly twenty four damage. The problem is if we somehow like if something goes wrong and we can't kill. High priest, then we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm worried about, basically, right? Because th does high priest spawn with a haste boy behind? Yes, oh, high priest has a on this combat. It'll be clergyman, yeah. high priest, and a haste yeah, boy. Yeah, exactly. So I just feel like I said, like we have a one and third shot of missing. Like I don't think we can do this combat. I think we just straight up die if we put on this on bottom floor. Like, I think like the amount of damage Rector takes, he's just gonna get murdered, and then we're banking on hitting uh, wicked blaze. Like we need to get yeah. wicked blaze to bring him back. Okay. In a timely manner. Yeah, I agree. I think that interestingly enough, if we had gone to the magic shop, we could take this trial. 
Because, uh, no, I guess not, because we wouldn't have the... If we could have gotten a banner unit and gone to the magic shop, we would have been okay. Assuming we got a way to keep Wicked Blaze, but it's it's a little risky, for sure. A lot of things can go wrong here. I mean, luckily, luckily we're still top four. We didn't get the complete screw over with the, the size downgrade on top. Yeah, now... And it's just it's just gonna be less pyre damage overall. Unfortunately, we missed the collector here. We're gonna be getting a lot of money though. Yeah. Oh yeah. We can set train stewards to kill one of these. All right. It's not so bad. Without the trial, this is gonna be probably two damage, maybe three, mm -hmm. which is better, for sure. It's just it's mostly just scary if we don't get the unit we want, but yeah, whatever. Just get it, right? Like, it's not that hard. Uh, High Priest does damage in sixes, so we don't want to Razor Sharp Edge Paraffin Thug. And put it but here. What if, he gets, what if he gets the Slay, though, with the Razor Sharp Edge? So don't You don't have to do the math, it's fine. No way, you're right, it is fine. Because there's no way that this floor... Like, High Priest doesn't live for six rounds. Or five rounds, or however many rounds. This is a bit of an issue here. Rector's gonna burn out soon. He's got three and we have another drippings. Okay, good. We're good, we're good. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. fear. It really is just the math on if we can get the kill with Paraffin Thug now. I'm just doing the rough math in my head real quick. Oh no, Rector just burns out. Never mind, it's free. Oh, it is cool. You need to just just let him let him let him do it. We got and we get the extra five gold from Memorial Fund. Oh, oh yeah, we made all of our money back there despite missing the collector. I think it's almost always molded, but there's a case for entombed explosive. Hey, how badly do we need molded? We already have the uh, wicked blaze, right? It's true. I think that um, having multiple, basically having multiple options for reform, lets us open ourselves up to a plan where we just reform a draft that we spawn from something a lot of times. Maybe that's how we uh, win. We put it like a, we put a draft just behind uh, whatever our hollow is. Yeah, right. It's one of, one of the other options here it is a spam reform deck where we thin the deck out like crazy and then get to a point where we can reform a draft like three times a turn and that kills Seraph. Mm -hmm. Which is you know it's not bad, but if it doesn't work out, then the second molded is worthless. Mm -hmm. And also, right now, there's no guarantee we see a draft. We won't see another common card draft, so we'll have to get it off of Sacrificial Resurrection. Which is cool. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't hate Sacrificial Resurrection for that. Yeah. Um, it's just like it's we're. It's just a matter of like seeing the card, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's bad to plan to hope for a rare card because there's a few different rare cards we can hope for, right? Because this multiple yeah. reform plan can also work with like Bounty Stalker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm down to take Molded then. I think that's the, it's a... I, I don't think we need Entombed Explosives. I think Rector will handle front lines well enough for the time being. Yeah, I agree. And then Draft. If we had, like... It, the starter card of Hollow Drippings is good, but I think that it would have been... It's not the best for picking Draft, basically. With perfect information, I think we might want to pick Draft from the first one, maybe. I don't know. And then pick Molded here. It's weird. I think this is always sap. Yeah, we're, we're banking. We're banking on uh, hollow coming up, so yeah, definitely take the sap here. We don't yeah. need this fucking edge, and I guess this is an interesting case for vine grasp. Vine grasp is any, not bad. Yeah, we don't have any like ways to hit backline right now, so I don't hate that. You wanna go right here? Yeah, right. Probably hellvent our sap, but let's see what we get. I think Ooh. I think awoken hollow is winning. I I do like it, but like animus is not bad here either. She's not. But we need something to put in front of it, which we don't have. And I'd rather just have something in front right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we could do... So, th there's a lot of different lines to a victory here, right? One of them is take Animus and get an Endless Tome. And then we Endless Tome her. And then we have Rector and her on bottom floor. We bring back Rector through Reform. And then when the boss comes in, we, like, we have them fight bottom floor. And then when they die, we mold Rector back. And then we have her Endless go on the second floor. And repeat that three times to kill Seraph. It's That's weird. I've done it a few times and it works well enough, but 
Uh, we need the Endless Tome for her, right? I, I think we're better off just taking the Awoken now, because it's kind of like what we're more set up to do. Yeah, and then we can dupe the Sap and be fine. But there is a, there's a world where we can take Animus here. I just think that Paraffin Thug kind of gets in the way as well. Mm -hmm. Let's take Awoken Hollow. Yeah. And then I think we just duplicate Sap. I, uh, do we want to... Check this first? Is there, yeah, is there a reason to check the caverns first? Like, can we get, like, a spell upgrade here somehow? I don't know. I mean, we may as well, right? It doesn't hurt. Oh, perfect. This is not the one where we take Calcified Ember? Yeah, I don't think we take anything here. Yeah, I've been experimenting with picking this uh, in runs where you have bad early game frontline damage, but this is not one of those runs. I have a question for you here about that event. Okay. What what do you take from that event if you already have Dante? Honestly, I probably still wouldn't take anything. Really? You, can... you already have Dante, you're not taking the Blight one? Nah, I mean, honestly, I don't like it that much. Dante, he gets like, like he gets like three multi-strikes, so I guess it's probably on paper worth it, but... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, the 100 damage one is worth it, and possibly the... <laughs> Plus damage for each blight is worth it too, because you got to remember the candles are blights. That's true. So he's you when you play the candles, they deal 100 damage. But you're adding three or, more blights to your hand or into your deck. Maybe. Well, for the ember one, is temporary, right? You get rid of them eventually. Yeah. Also, also those blights give him more multi strike. Oh yeah, I mean, when well, you're talking about taking the ember stasis one, I thought you were talking about taking the penitent remains one. That adds the three dead weights. No, I, I saw about that one too. Yeah, but I mean like that one. I think is that I think that one is too much personally. It's probably good because Dante just solo carries, right? He gets yeah, like I, I had I had a run where I took the Ember Stasis one instead, and then I gave him a large one, and I was like, wow, if I had taken the the plus damage one instead, I think Dante could one v one Seraph right now. Yeah, I just I feel like the large just give him large one. He's fine either way. Like he does mm -hmm. what he's supposed to do regardless. Yeah, uh, duplicating I, sap, right? Any yeah, reason yeah. to do anything else here? I, I think that that event is just... I, I think the, the Weather Cold Stones is probably better than we make it out to be, because consistent healing is not bad on uh, Blights. Oh, just play good though, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Just play good. Good point. I didn't think of that. I think we're doing... What do you think? You want to do... Rector bottom floor here, and then hollow top floor, or hollow mid floor, perhaps? We I don't mean, have don't... great healing for him. Yeah, we don't have great healing, so it's a little scary to put him... I, I... I think mid floor is probably better. Yeah, I, I agree. And Rector doesn't care about the damage, he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be alright. So, there's a lot of things, There's we have a lot of lines here to uh, explore, depending on what Daedalus shows us. Oh, thanks, Daedalus. Very cool. Drop a pair of thug. We do have Restoration Detonation for this guy, and I think we're just going to focus on healing him over Rector. Yeah, we can just let, let Rector die, basically, and then and then reform him and put him behind the, uh, the hollow later. Yeah. If we can, it'd be good to try and, like, like Permafrost or Holdover onto a reform card lets our run make a lot more sense, because we can move Rector around on perfect timings in Relentless. I think preferably permafrost. I, I think in theory there we should have had one of the dregs take the hit from the uh, the boy. From the boy? The, oh, uh, for the hollow. The clergyman? Yeah, you're yeah. right. It, it doesn't matter too much, but just like I just want to kill them as fast as possible to get more money with uh, with what's it called? Wow, this is a disaster. Look at this. We drew I both of know. our reform cards on the turn that Rector is dying, and yeah, neither we'll, of our we'll extenders. Bring him back soon. Mm, it could be pretty rough. I, I ain't, I ain't spooked. I think honestly, I think the Awoken one will just 1v1 Daedalus for us, basically. Yeah, but like, what about the money? That's a good point. I do like money. Me too. I think we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna power this guy up, though. Mm -hmm. Does this- And have dra Drags tank a couple hits for us here? Yeah. I think that we can just let the hollow drippings go, because we just need to in the deck out so we hit our reform card sooner. I, I am in agreement. Yeah, this guy, you don't need a lot of regen for an Awoken Hollow. It only, nine is where he hits the Equilibrium and he's already at ten. 
So it should be. Well, okay. we're, at, we're at a sap though too, so he's gonna probably stay around that equilibrium for a while. Yeah, and we have a lot of dead draws coming up. Uh, hopefully, we hit Rector in one of the next two turns. Uh, next three turns, I guess. It's a little close here. I think. I think we should have this guy tank a hit here. Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say maybe not, because if we get reform next turn, we can't play him behind. Oh no, he dies from the extinguish trigger though. Oh, the extinguish trigger! You genius! Oh wait, resin removal saves us two damage here. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, we could have we could have actually yeah. put this drag up here and saved us four damage. I mean, yeah, think we, need, we need to save that HP though on uh, the hollow. Yeah, trigger. probably. Are you looking hollow? Oh hey, he wins he's, it anyway. He's one v one. But let's just make it. Uh, wait, can we get the money? Nah. Oh, go for the money, dude. We can't get the money. We don't have space for it. Alas. Oh, you're right. All right, that wasn't so bad. We could have actually taken uh, no damage here if I was thinking on my toes there with the Re resin, the resin removal. removal. Yeah. So I did say Bounty Stalker here. Bounty Stalker actually makes a lot of sense. Fits behind Awoken Hollow. We have two reforms for him. Yeah, I like it. I'm not the. I, I have been historically uh, one of Bounty Stalker's biggest detractors. I, I will say. also don't like it that much, and I don't yeah. understand why it got nerfed. I mean, uh, you know, I did have a run with it where I had everything go right and he had like 300 attack at the end of the game, but you know. I had a run that I thought was pretty cool where I got it fairly early in the game and I was in a deck that already had uh, Intent on Death. And I just put hold over on Intent on Death and every turn gave it a plus 8 permanent attack buff. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It does seem pretty good. I'm gonna take this guy here. Hmm. So we don't see Lady of the Reformed here, most likely. We can go check the last banner, but that is interesting. I think we had to pivot to like a reform strategy then with Rector. Yeah, so we're just going to aim for like mold over here, most likely. Mm -hmm. Do you want any of these cards? Huskarmid is not bad. Like Husk yeah, Huskarmid is what I'm thinking about. I think uh... that we have... Uh, we have the number of draw priority units I'm comfortable with, which is three. Yeah, Orphan Hollow, I, Bounty Stalker, Pair up and Thug. Yeah, I, I think we gotta find a different way to kill backline. I don't think yeah. we need... Maybe. I think we can just kind of brute force it at this point, honestly. I think so as well. I think we just outheal it. Mm, now, what do you want to take here? I don't know. Um, we have a lot of cheap cards, so that makes me want to lean a little bit more towards uh, draw. Um, but they're not super cheap, so I don't know. It's a little weird. Maybe energy think... first, maybe draw first. I don't know. Either way, I don't know. I think I lean towards yeah, draw first. Think it's kind of a coin flip, honestly. Yeah. So the only thing is, it is curse fell, and I've said you want to go energy against curse fell, but I'm starting to rethink that because I think that it's okay to just go draw and just kill the guys that give you garbage. Actually, you know, we should probably take energy just so we can always play out our curses against Fel. But then again, if you take like 5 or 10 damage on Fel from curses, is it really that big of a deal? It's not. Um, and I think that I think that our strategy is good against curse Fel. We just put Rector down on the bottom floor and then hopefully we don't get the size downgrade so we can put Parab and Thug behind too. Mm -hmm. Turn one, we're gonna kill the statue. Turn two through a million, we'll just punch hopefully, him. yeah, we'll hopefully punch through and, and at least kill one, if not both, of the uh, the boys. I know the the waves like you know vary. This like is you, probably usually it's like it's like it's like a heavy and one of them or just two of them by themselves. I think, right? Yeah, or it's uh, yeah, we'll we'll be okay most likely. Yeah. I think it is probably draw here. Okay. And hopefully by fell we have a really powerful bounty stalker. We hope that by then he has died maybe ten times. Gonna be our hopeful estimate here. You want to go yeah, left or right here? I. I... We still want we still want Lady of the Reformed, I guess. Or do we want Lady of the Reformed? I don't know. I like it's kind of it's kind of cluttered if we can pick up a Lady. Yeah, of Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I just, I think we just go right path for the Merchant of Steel. There's a, we need a lot of upgrades in this deck right now. The left path is looking a little juicy though. I do find myself really liking picking up artifacts, and removal is nice. Removal is nice too. 
I just thought we're so hungry for monster upgrades right now. We need to yeah, you're right. on like two different units right now. Yeah, you're right. We need to go this way. Three guys want multi strike here. And we, and we have so much money we can just buy removals pretty easily. That's true. Do you like Endless Bounty Stalker? It's not the worst, but I feel like it's it really shines when we have like Subsuming Blade or something to kill it like intentionally. Yeah, we can hopefully pick up something like that though, I think. I, I, if, think, I think we can. Yeah, I think this is fine. And then uh, I don't hate giving a plus 25 to Hollow, but it's also oh, actually I, not that great here. I mean, I I, I think like the goal is probably only one multi-strike on it, right? I don't think we're going to get a double multi-strike on the Hollow, are we? Yeah, but I, I think in order, it's like multi-strike for Bounty Stalker is probably most important, and then Hollow secondary and pair up and Thug third. Do you think we're going to see three different multi-strikes in this run? No, but if we do, that's probably the order that I would apply them. I, I think we're safe to put one plus 25 HP on the, on the Awoken Hollow. Yeah, yeah. The, the only case against is like maybe you want to give him a flat plus 10 to get him started quicker. He does have a lot uh, of health. That's, that's a good argument, I guess, but I'd rather just... I, I like the safety of playing him and then he doesn't have to worry about dying right away. Alright, that's fine with me. And then we can roll this. I don't think anyone wants plus 5, plus 10. Maybe a maybe, drag. Maybe a drag. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a drag, but I'd rather just keep the money. Hey, there's our first multi-strike. I think we go Bounty Stalker here. I, I, I like it. Oh, this next combat, we're probably going to plan... Just plan to take some damage you wanna, here. Do you want to purge anything here? Oh yeah, for sure. Like, while we got the funds? Probably purge. Probably purge train stewards on this one. Stewards are dregs, right? Probably. I, I think I like train stewards here early just because we're we're playing a lot of units. We don't have much room to spare. Yeah, train stewards probably first, and then probably dregs. Maybe the uh, maybe the restoration detonation, but it's not bad with the hollow. Yeah, I like right. it with the hollow here. And I want to pivot into reform real quick. Nah. Nah? You don't nah. feel like pulling out the abacus and starting our calculations? Yeah, let me get my sundial. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. Sundial to figure out how much time it takes to work out the right play. Oh, man. Uh, these guys have 35 health. This is fine. We can take this trial. Yeah, I don't mind it either. Yeah, they have 35 health and like the armor boys only have 10 health. Yeah, like, so... No big deal. Free artifact, thank you. Plan step one, I, I think that the most important thing is getting our boy killed as many times as possible here. So I think that with that, we probably want to play him bottom floor with Paraffin Thug. Interesting. Because So in the late game, we're going to aim for uh, Bounty Stalker behind Awoken Hollow, but for the next like two rounds, we just... Even if we have to uh, tank I, I higher actually, I actually do like this a lot. I've just I've just thought about it, and I realized that Paraffin Thug, I'm pretty sure one shots his boys right now, right? He's got 35 attack. He does, attack. yes. Yeah, I like putting him down right now just to start making money. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense to put uh, Bounty Stalker in front of him. Except, actually, I've thought about it for half a second longer. These guys don't kill Bounty Stalker. They only do four damage around. We should put Bounty, Bounty Stalker second floor Ooh, with Rector okay. behind him. We should have Paraffin Thug yeah. here, right? Okay, yeah. And then these guys gain three attacks, so they'll do exactly enough to kill Bounty Stalker, his stealth will wear out, and then Rector cleans up the other one. That is very smart. And make sure you put a Dreg the Chump here mm -hmm, for the, mm -hmm. the boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, we should have put it top floor. Oh, I need to catch collectors. It's fine. It's a 50-50, who cares? We, we will never fail. Never fail. I think it's actually like we miss it on the middle floor, right? God damn. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. We make a ton of money anyway. He dies. He comes back. Too bad we can't resin removal his stealth away. That'd be really annoying. <laughs> the man, no, like we want, we want him to not have stealth here. Get rid of it. Kill his stealth. There's an interesting case to be made there actually for reforming the drag for five extra gold. I think it was actually correct. Oh uh, yeah. How confident are you that we're not gonna have any issues though, right? I'm pretty confident. This is a pretty easy combat. I guess this part is a little scary, actually. The one thing to consider that I forgot. Mm -hmm. The defender plus the two 35s are going to be a little bit troubling here. Yeah, we might have a party boy leak up to the pyre, but it won't be that big of a deal. Like, yeah. We need to hit for quite a bit, but like not like, not like it's not game ending. And like I said, I think that we sa we're sacrificing pyre health for bounty stalker to scale is good. Mm -hmm. Just looking at this one real quick. So this is this wildwood sap's always happening up here. Yeah, and I think restoration's also happening up there, right? It's like that, or it's play a transdoer for some reason here instead of the drag. I think it's not 
bad to play the train steward, honestly. But I think that the drag is better, yeah. You, or do you want to put him behind or in front of the chump to just uh, die right away? Be, be, I think behind is better so that we can hopefully pick off this clip um, defender. You know, that's, that's fair, that's fair. If, yeah. We, yeah, if we hit restoration detonation, it'll do uh, 25 damage. I guess this guy's at 25. But I don't think this guy's health matters. He's only taking 4 damage anyway. Actually, we, I think we want him to take damage so that restoration detonation is playable. Yeah, makes okay. sense. I think that there's still plenty of ways that we come out of this without getting hit as well. Because this bounty stalker will punch down one of these 35 health boys. Something like that anyway. Well, he's dying it looks like. He is dying. He'll punch him down next turn I believe. Yeah. The, like this wave I think is the one we have to worry about? What are you Maybe at? we want to razor sharp edge the awoken hollow? Does that get him in range to kill? Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Let's see. 30, 31. We need like a heal spell next turn if we get, so. It'll be 32. He'll be at 33, I think, if we Razor Sharp Edge him. If we put a drag up here, it'll work out, right? Because then what'll happen is we. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We Restoration Detonation the front one, and then him and the drag to combine powers. Oh, wait, we could just bring the super drag back. Oh, baby. I mean, I think it's not wrong to just make two drags here, right? Drag wicked blaze um, up here, is, or or do we razor sharp edge instead? Like is like a razor sharp edge versus a drag? I think. Oh, he's why? Why did I think drags cause energy? Uh, okay. It happens. We'll we'll brain flooding. Oh my god. Uh, I, I, I'm wondering. It's probably better just to restore though, honestly. Because like this yeah, is gonna be yeah. 31. It's higher than 35, and he's gonna yeah yeah yeah. It's better to play it this way anyway. Not bad, we've gotten- we're gonna get three deaths on our Bounty Stalker, which is good. If we can get three deaths for each combat, that's plus, uh, 24 each combat, that ends up being a lot. Actually, if we put him down here, we might get an extra one, right? Because he'll die against the boss, and then he'll die up here again. We're gonna leak a little bit more, though, I think, then, though. Will we? I, I think the same thing happens here, right? With same do we plan. Have, do we have another Restoration Detonation definitely coming up? Uh, no, I guess you're right. If we- was this, 16? Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, boys. I'm okay with leaking uh, one of these party boys just to get another death trigger on Bounty Stalker. Yeah, I think that it's right as well because there's worlds where we don't take damage for this. I think. I mean, yeah, we could, we can draw restoration again. Like we it, we we can you know it's a risk yeah, it's, here, it's risk it's low, risky. It's low downside. Yeah, I guess we're we're risking like twenty two pyre damage, which honestly I think is fine to take. Yeah, we're to power this guy up. I think we should put him behind. I make this mistake a lot where I go and put Bounty Stalker in front when he's going to die in Relentless anyway. Mm -hmm. And this Restoration Detonation always happens. Do you ever think it's right to not Hollow Drippings here so that we have a chance to reform him when Molded comes around? Probably not. Well, here here it's not worth it because he's not dying before Relentless, I don't think. Like, well, well, do you want him to die and then reform him? Like, like Oh, you're right. You're right. Like, yeah, I, I, in theory, it's a little bit better because then he might have, like, a higher attack or something for the Relentless, but, like, it just seems like such a little upside for a big risk. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, we may as well put this drag down. Money. Money. So, Bounty Stalker's a real interesting one, I think, when you get the endless multi-strike. Requires a lot of thinking. Yeah. Mm, thought minder. Hey, look at that. Pretty cool. And we'll, um, we might even get three yeah, rounds. Yeah, keep restoring him there. I think we actually get three deaths out of our bounty stalker here. Rector might just 1v1. Now Rector only has a little burnout left, right? Oh, he has well, three he, left. He has, he has a decent amount. It's close, see? Ah, uh, he's gonna actually, he, him being oh, planted. Oh, then bounty stalker will get enough hits in the mm -hmm. kill. That's okay. Wait, Rector burnt. Wow, Rector was going to kill him and burn out. How about that? But that was, uh, what, four kills on Bounty Stalker there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and we got a great relic. <laughs> God damn it. We got the best relic. I do think it's fine to take this because. Really? Yeah. I, it makes it so that a card that I already think is okay, which is uh, Preserve Thorns, becomes significantly better. That's fair. I, I was actually. My my friend my friend uh, Bob was playing earlier, and I didn't realize how like my mother's actually pretty awesome against uh, diligent. Yeah. Like that that's something I just didn't realize. Where it's like, oh, I get the upside of thorns, not the downside of them flooding my deck later. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's, it is really strong. Obviously, you're not playing against Diligent right now, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I think 25, 25 gold nothing to sneeze at either. Yeah, we make so much money though. I think that I think that the potential upside of this is better than the twenty five that, gold. That's fair. That is that is extremely fair. Oh, subsuming blade. Oh, intent oh, on death. And in, I think I like intent on death a little bit more because it gets us the bonus of yeah. subsuming blade without having to replay him over and over again. It's just yeah, like, it's free instead of three energy. Yeah. I think that's easy. Hey. Hey, you know, you're a genius. So I, I would also like to take a moment and talk Wildwood Custodian. I think that Wildwood Custodian is not bad. However, the problem is that we have no space to play a Wildwood Custodian here. I think there's also, it's worth mentioning, focus growth too. Yeah. But, like, I like Preserve Thorns here specifically because we got the... I, I, I want to see how good this works in this deck with the with the heart, Channel Heart. Yeah, I think that... I mean, it's now just... It's the... You know the card, zero energy, draw three next turn? It's just that yeah. card, except also we do 75 damage when we play it. Yeah, it seems pretty solid. Yeah. I, I mean, can't, I, I can't deny that. The, both of these cards are solid, though. Like, all three of these cards are decent. I think that Wildwood Custodian would be fine if we had space for it. And Focus Growth is okay, but it's worse because we have a better healing card in the deck. Mm -hmm. So that was a, you know, reasonable power-up. If we can have a combat like that again on floor 5, we'll probably win the game. What did he get? 42 times 2? I think that one more combat like that and we can just plant him and he'll do plenty. Well, we can plant him right now. We I, Honestly, I think we go right path here. Yeah, and I think we look for we look for holdover, and we just put them behind uh, our our hollow, and we just you know farm them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, I agree on right path for sure. Also, we get another another artifact for free, which is nice. If we imagine, uh, what was oh, the yeah. last one? Like, was it a ember? Oh, it was a cavern too. Yeah. Is there? I guess the question is, do you want to go to Merchant of Steel for anything? It's just multi strikes now. So not really, and then Pyre remains in money, you don't matter that much, so I think right path for sure. Yeah, I agree. Could try and consider all of our options. Mm. There's one card that says consume in this deck? No, there's three. Four, five. Five cards. Oh, I kinda I kinda like it with, with both of our saps. Yeah, it's not bad. Preserve Thorns is pretty good to hold on to. Hollow Drippings is kind of whatever. Yeah, maybe maybe we take it and like we actually get rid of one of the hollow drippings at some point. Yeah, I think wing clippings is fine here. I, uh, I like it over mold braces. I don't know how we use mold braces effectively right now. Uh, we use it on our dying boy because we have intent on death. That is, there's intent. Oh, you're yeah, right. That is. That, actually it would cool. work, but it's kind of whatever. Let's take a look yeah, at this. It, is, it doesn't seem that useful. Ooh. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if this event is the times five event, and then we just times five intent on death. Is that good though? I think that's, I think we <laughs> just take. I think we just take one. Yeah, but five is wackier, and it makes a more interesting YouTube title. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna throw a plus ten on restoration detonation, by the way. See that? Yeah, that seems fine with me. I think minus one is not bad as well. Probably on... on or probably on Wicked Blaze, right? I honestly might just do it on restoration detonation. These are cards that we don't want to play every time we draw them, whereas restoration detonation is always worth playing. Or that's should be. Point. That's a good point. I like it here, personally. Okay, I'm down with it. Yeah, we missed the minus one holdover on resin removal, though. <laughs> <laughs> my brain's... You froze my brain for a solid three seconds with that sentence. It's always awoken consumable. Oh, yeah, we, we need that sap. Yeah, easy money. This is probably the best event in the game because it can give you wildwood sap, and it's the only way to see a common card outside of the first two rounds. Uh, these ones don't matter. This is uh, Rage Serum, and then this is the Spell Weakness card. I but think that's we... going to be the, the Snow one, I can guarantee it. It's going to be like the Crystalline Shard or whatever. It's going to be a Crystalline Shard? Hmm. Ah, damn. Good try, good try. I don't think we want this. No, absolutely not. No Bone Dog today. I haven't seen Bone Dog in a really long time. I, mean, I think I told you about it. it was during one of your streams. Yeah. I got Bone Dog for the first time, and I lost that run against Seraph, so now i got to wait... 200 more hours <laughs> before I can get another chance to gold them. Uh, it's funny, too, because I'm hearing all of these people talking about how horrible it is to get Bone Dog, and I just, like, I got him really early, just accidentally, like, three times. Were you on Covenant 25 when you got him, or were you on your way up still? I think I was still on my way up. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are, we, are we taking this? Yeah, it's like, what, yeah, what is I, the spell I feel like shield? we don't do much. Like, it, 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 oh no, preserve, preserve thorns. Preserve thorns and restoration damnation. 
Yeah. So I this is again, but... this combat is of course there's one thing that you're ever afraid of of this combat is the second uh, round where the four sycophants spawn in front of Clip Guardian. We have to ask ourselves if we kill that okay, more or less here. The answer is honestly no. Not really. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. I mean Let me let me think for a second. I think we're fine though. I because like, here, yeah. here's here's how our here's how our, our floor is now, right? Like our setup. It's gonna be it's gonna be Rector and what's his name on the bottom. They kill two of them. And then oh, we're only gonna get one hit on them. Yeah, so here's here's what I'm actually thinking. This is I'm thinking we might wanna do Paraffin Thug and Bounty Stalker bottom floor. Because this is the sweet boss, Bounty Stalker doesn't do a lot for us top floor right now, so we can just change how we're planning our setup and farm a few extra deaths out of him, I think. And also, if we do that, like, we play him bottom floor, he pings off two of them, and then maybe we can play him again middle floor and have him kill two more, but it's kind of... I'm trying to figure out how you do that. It's a little weird. Like, maybe we just don't pick Ancient Hate here, because I'm... Re I, the, the thing is, if this guy goes up, even if we, if we hit him one time for 42, he does, like, 42 damage to us. You have to really respect this guy, and no, no one else. Nothing else about this combat is respectable. It's just this one enemy. I'm down to respect them. I don't think we need the money that desperately. Yeah, I think we. Yeah, I think we don't take the money, and then we take a little time to think about how we set up here. And there's a chance that this uh, not taking the money affects nothing, and we don't draw any of our. I, I think I think that our answer now to that man is getting uh, thorns. Oh, there's thorns. Shit. Oh, that's awkward. Um. And we lost space top four as well. We can do we can do awoken and then bounty hunter mid floor, right? Is that is that terrible for some reason that I can't think of? I think we want to we need to I, we we need to have one of the floors set up for drags to just clear out sycophants as best we can. I think. I'm wondering if maybe it's like. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, it is very weird. So we know we're drawing our paraffin thug next turn. God, this combat's so strange. We're, I think we're, we're always going to play Preserve Thorns and play three of them here, right? So we can start with this. Yeah, I, th I think so. That I think that is correct as well. I guess we could maybe... Yeah, it's fine this way. It doesn't make a huge difference. I also think that we are probably always fine to just put a drag top floor right now. Yeah, just to catch collectors. So let's, let's think about it a little more, I guess. Let's just... Because I'm wondering if maybe the best plan is to put Rector top floor here. Okay. Like, um, I'm thinking I'm... maybe it's... So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, and then a 6, right? So it's... Because yeah, it's 4 Sycophants and then a Guardian. Mm -hmm. so I'm wondering if maybe it's something like Bounty Stalker down here, and then, like, he tanks three hits and then there's two more guys and then we just replay bounty stalker up here on the next turn and play us awoken hollow up here yeah i kind of like that and then we put rector top four and that should catch the 105 it's just really weird right yeah um I guess the only thing i'll say is make sure you put a drag down to take this hit from the sick offense so that way we uh, get the money oh yeah so yeah i think we're gonna put rector up here here the I like, only I, I do like this plan though the only real big problem is if we don't hit one of the hollow drippings but we do get the bonus draw from preserve thorns mm -hmm. and then so we're putting hollow here bounty stalker here and then if we drag drag in front does bounty stalker get to take a shot um i well yeah I, we want, I think we want to play uh what's his name on this floor right oh now? yeah you're right you're right you're right you're right yeah we, we just throw this drag away but i'm up here it's fine yeah what a weird combat. Okay. So. Yeah, now we play Paraffin Thug behind, I think, because we want this guy dead. Mm -hmm. Let me throw one of these up here for Rector. Although that's kind of weird because this guy's up here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it matters too much. I agree. And we just, you know, stack healing on the uh, hollow there, right? Yeah, and then Apollo hits this one, and then Bounty Stalker kills these two, and then this guy goes up and he'll survive at 25, so in our worst cases we're only taking a little bit of damage, and there's also lines where we take nothing here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It, I think it's as good as we could have been here. It's really a weird one. This combat is unlike every other combat in the game, I think. Is there a drag up here? I suppose we can put a drag up here. We just won't oh, play. Last time, then we had to, then we had to give it more burnout. Yeah, but like, we just won't play the burnout card if we draw it again. Okay. Okay. And we drew a detonation, so we should take nothing here, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It like a super weird one. This is one of those combats where if we weren't doing this in co-op, I would have definitely just gotten hit for a lot here because you had to think <laughs> about this for a lot. But. I think that this is probably the most analytical content on this channel, personally. I'm glad you care about our friendship so much. Yeah. I mean, because I have you here to talk everything out with, right? It's like, stop and spend a little more time thinking about each plan. Mm -hmm. yeah, we I think like we're kind of now just cruising, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Just waiting on the intent on death. It's coming. Actually, we are going to get hit by these sycophants for a little bit. If, unless we get restoration. Do we have yeah. restoration coming up in the next draw? Uh, do we? No, we, we have Razor Sharp Edge, though, which actually kills we, 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 we are over- oh, yeah! Well, that's, that's awesome, you can't just Razor Sharp them. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, we are drawing one extra card next turn, so there is a chance that we draw the Restoration. Mm -hmm. Just press that turn here. Alright. This, this one is a little scary. I guess I talk shit about this combat, and then we're gonna potentially take some damage from this wave, but... Nah. Know. Nah. Yeah, also just nah. Oh yeah, we drew the sting. Don't forget the stings are in here now. Uh, do we wanna- do we want us to sting one of the top guys and then Razor Sharp Edge one of the bottom boys? No, I think it's better this way because the sting kills this front clip defender. Oh, I forgot we're hitting for 20 with stings! Mm -hmm. 25, so it actually Damn. is a fucking monster hit. Let me just do this. Yeah. And we're there? I think we're there. The big problem is that Bounty Stalker is going- restore- Oh yeah. Our rector. That's the wrong person. That's not who's on top floor. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot where Rector is and where this guy is. Now of course it is the sycophant, but we actually don't uh, worry about him because he's not gonna die. Yeah, he's never he's never getting hit. Although I guess it doesn't make a difference really on this one. It's only really a problem on the other one. Hmm. Make sure you you sting that top boy though, because one of those one of them's bleeding through right now. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. I think it's ever right to Restoration Detonation here. I think it's more right to Restoration Detonation the back one. Like, uh, like Oh, this one. guy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. He actually has health. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, first of all, first of all, 10 lifesteal? Get it out of here. Oh, what a hard counter. Absolutely destroyed. Don't come back. Double sting here. And we should hit Wicked Blaze, yeah. And we also have all three of our Wildwood Saps still yeah, because it, they are. It doesn't are. matter. Yeah, like it's <laughs> this is extremely over. Now we just might. I guess in a perfect world we do want uh, this man to kill our. Uh, he's he's gonna kill our guy. We want he sweeps to him. Next floor. He's gonna get it. Yo, he gets so big. What the heck? Oh no! You killed him too hard. What do you we're mean? Supposed to play, we're supposed to play. Uh, oh. Up your next floor and then get the kill with him. Oh no! Because he's gonna be dazed somehow though. magically. He's gonna be dazed, and then we go, oh no. Oh, I forgot about dazed, yeah. Yeah, we have to draw oh, resin we removal. Could've, we could have, uh, resin removal the dazed. <laughs> I would have, what a, what a monster play that would have been. Yeah, if we get this guy. I think, I think very technically it is a extremely slight misplay, because I think if we had reformed Rector that turn, put him on top floor, you guarantee get the kill. So then we're playing for the out oh, yeah. of being able to play him on top floor. You're right, we could have guaranteed the, one more. Because I think we had we were we were overdrawing our deck by one, so we could have uh drawn Well I guess actually you know what, no matter what, we were drawing a uh, holdover, right? Yeah, you were right. For sure. Yeah, it's a it's a very tiny misplay, but it doesn't matter. Well, I, yeah, I mean it's a pretty big one. We missed sixteen damage for that, but you know. He's already starting to scale out of control. Let's see, uh, 82 times 2. Yeah, I don't think it matters too much. Yeah. I think that we take none of these. I agree. One thing I'm a little concerned about, Voix, is how we actually are going to defend him. I guess it actually doesn't matter because he, he has endless. He's nice. endless. Uh, I was going to say, how do we defend him against uh, Ember Wings cleaving him? Yeah, he's just endless. It, they actually they kill him and he comes back stronger. Mm hmm. Uh, also, if it's a really big deal, uh, Rector one-shots Pyrowings. 
Oh yeah, they only have 140 HP because they're stupid. It might be 150, maybe he's off by 5, but him and the other goon will kill them no matter what. Mm -hmm. We're good there. Uh, you ever want to take Awoken Spike? Uh, like, Ensnare is just fine. You know, we did have the run where we won because we just stopped <laughs> heavies from ever getting yeah. to play the game. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Another one of those runs that's just like, the, there should not have been a win there. Yeah, and th then... this deck doesn't feel like it needs that though is the thing. Yeah, it's just like, it's a card that is not bad to have just because it is basically free. Yeah, once but... you get it, you draw cards with it. So, yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of like a dead draw though, so I probably don't want it. Because it's not really free, it's free if you don't need the rest of the cards. But like, mm -hmm. we do have cards. How do you cards feel about Edgeprior? Uh, we don't have space for Edgeprior. That is true. We'd have to take space for him, and then we're just better off taking energy. I agree. Plus, most of our healing comes from Wildwood Sap, which doesn't get the cost reduction. So finally, Awoken's Rest Spike. Okay. Well, I think we're taking energy next next uh, next thing, right? Yeah, I think that Awoken's Rest Spike is fine. I don't hate it. Yeah, just making the restores free is like not terrible. Yeah, Awoken's Rest Spike is a card where you basically give up one turn for the next like in like you give up one of your turns where you pay off a bunch of energy, and then in like four or five turns you have much better turns because of the cards that you cost reduced, and also you get to just yeah. play random cards from your deck. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine, as long as we don't just hit three dead weights. The game just adds another dead weight into the deck to show us. I would not be shocked. So, left path or right path here? What do you feel? Can we look at our deck again real quick? Sure. So... I kind of like the hell vent on maybe like a sap or something, but also I like upgrading the saps too. Yeah, I think that both lines are about the same value. So then you ask the question of, what do you think is more more important? Money. I would say the cavern and removal are more important than the money and health right now. I agree. It's like it's slightly better to go to hell vent because this is a guaranteed increase in our regen. Where if we don't find Zubbel stack, this is just going to be. Neutral, but these car these two are much better than these two. And also, we can you know, we can lower the cost of a of a sap if we really need to. Yeah, we can do some cost reductions as well, which yeah. is fine. I think this is the way. And hold over. Hmm. I really don't hate holdover restoration detonation. However, we don't need it because we have this monster. How does Holdover, or how does how does uh, Razor Sharp Edge work when it kills a unit and you bring it back with... Uh, the units that have their health enhanced down to zero and then brought back will be brought back at one. However, they effectively have zero health, so if you were to increase his health by one, somehow it would still be one. Okay. It's how a very you, strange interaction. You, yeah, it's pretty weird. How do you feel about Holdover Razor Sharp on our uh, bounty, bounty Stalker? I don't think it's very good. I also don't think it's very good, but I was just curious about like how it would work. So the interesting thing about that, though, is... Play, I guess it's not great, but playing Razor Sharp Edge once on him in Chaste is going to be great, because then he'll always die to Pyro Wings, so we won't take that extra Ember Drain. If they yeah, get we, up to we, we also we also just don't need to do that though. Yeah. You know, we don't need to give it hold over, we can just play it once when we yeah, see yeah, it the yeah. first time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't think we want to give plus twenty and consume to a restore. Although it's actually not that bad here for a one to have one of these to be a single use burst deal. Yeah, I don't I don't hate it either. I think we just wanna leave it at one one getting uh, the, uh, the buff though. Oof. Is there ever a reason to spend our money after we go to the event? I think we want to spend our money before, right? Before we go to that event. The caverns. Um, we could get the event where it's the ca spooky cave. I think we just pay health there though. Yeah, we're doing a we're doing fine on HP, so I, I I agree. And then I think you want a minus one. Probably I like making restoration detonation free always, or maybe razor sharp edge here. One of these two. Well, what, what are we gonna hold over re restoration? No, I don't think so. I don't think we need okay. it. Okay. It's a play that you make um, if you're having trouble with heavies, but we are not. In that case, I like restoration a little bit more. Okay. Because we always have a use for it. Just putting it on the uh, the hollow. Like, mm. It will always have value, even if it's like it's at full health and there's no units in the lane. Yeah, I agree. You want to roll this? Yeah, I think we can roll it. See if we get uh, double. Ooh. There it is. Very nice. And we double stack hollow drippings. 
No. Oh. I think it's. Do you want, do you want to reduce the cost, or are we waiting for like something like crazy, like Eternal Stone? I think it's. I think Eternal Stone's really bad on it as well, because it, uh, we already have the 50-50 not consume. So I think giving it minus oh, one is fine. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. That's that's fair. Then I think we want the cost reduction then. Yeah. Just being always able to play this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think we want to spend twenty-five gold on Surge Stone number two. I agree. Uh, let's go ahead and do our removals now. Probably just train stewards, right? Yeah, we need to. We still have no room for them. Yeah. So we can, we can sneak dregs in every now and then to let them die on purpose for memorial funds. But other than that, we have nothing. Ah, this is a non-event to me. Yeah, I don't think we need either, either of these here. I did I have a argument for the hook. Maybe we're struggling with heavies, but we're not. Yeah, we're fine. I did have a pretty fun run where I used a trap shoot with cost reduction, hold over, and remove consume, and I just played like 27 days on Seraph ahead of the actual game, because oh, I duplicated really cool. it. But yeah, you, I mean, it's okay, right? It's it's a reasonable plan, I just don't like to go for it, especially against Chaste. Yeah, also I think you need to, uh, I, w I would imagine you already want the uh, three upgrade slots on it first yeah. before going for it. Playing one energy for them isn't bad, it's just harder if you want to duplicate, right? Because then you're kind of limiting yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going... I, I think we are just going to go standard plan here. Yeah. Although the one bad thing is that this Absolver is just going to curse us three times. But... There's nothing we can do about it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think we just play... Mm -hmm. I, I agree well, with the point. There is, like... Nah, I think I think that's fine. There's like there's a world where maybe it's better to play Rector up here, and then then he'll stop this guy in theory with a Dreg, but eh, we lose out on money. I think it's better just to go this way. We lose out on money, and then also, like, in like, our future is much worse, I think. Yeah. And Oh, yeah, and the, you're right, because we also have these two 1-5s that we don't yeah. stop. Good point. Yo, Bounty Stalker. Yo, wait, Bounty Stalker resin removal. He gets to stop the Absolver. Oh, he stopped the Absolver anyway. All right, get out of here, resin <laughs> removal. <laughs> We got the intent on death as well. Yeah, oh. that's pretty nice. We should play the resin removal anyway right now, right? It uh, or... makes actually no difference, right? Because he just punches through it next turn or this turn. Oh, uh, yeah. You, okay, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I... you want to just buff him then? Give him the health? Yeah, I think it's... I, th I think this is kind of autopilot now. <laughs> yeah, I think we take this. Have you, did you see that there's a lot more information released about uh, upcoming the upcoming? I, I was watching a little bit of the dev stream today. I don't know if you know, but there was a there was a they did a little a mini like a an hour or two hour long dev stream showing some of the new content. For, I uh, did friends and foes. I did not watch the stream because I you know I just haven't. Also, I'm feeling... pretty sure you're asleep at the time that it was happening. <laughs> Probably. I usually am asleep until pretty late in the afternoon. But I, I saw, I was reading through, there was a lot of talk in the Discord about it. Anything that you found particularly interesting about that? Um. It was Rector. You burn out? Yeah, you burned, burned out. out. Come on, Rector. That's not what we pay you for. Did you see, did you see, uh, the. the, the new champion for, uh. Hellhorn? It's, I, think uh, I think that's what they showed off in the stream. She's like an imp queen, right? But she, like, kills imps, which is weird. And she has an ability that happens at the start of turn, not at the end of turn. Oh. Well, so she's got, she's got cool stuff going on. Um, but... Also, I think there's her starter card is an imp as well. Yeah, I, I think they talked about. I saw this one in the Discord. Her starter card's like a one-one imp that is one space and on summon does. Uh, I think it was does ten damage to the front enemy unit. Yeah. Eat your heart out, Frozen Lance. Yeah, it makes Frozen Lance pretty. I mean, I, I think specifically with her as the champion, that makes like Frozen Lance is very sad. But yeah. even then, like with her not as the champion, because I, I think her champion of the ability revolves around killing imps to do damage as well. Does it? Okay. I think I think that's what it was. Or like I guess like the one they showed. I guess you know they have three paths, right? Mm-hmm. So who knows what they actually do? But also rest in peace, paraffin plug. Yeah, I mean he's having a rough one down there without Rector. Kind of wish Rector got more burnout as you committed to the burnout path, right? Like it'd be kind of cool yeah, if you went three, be... four, five. Yeah, he'd be pretty strong, but you know, I'm also sick of this. 
So we're, we're, we're having quick. a little bit of an issue here. It's it's like it looks bad, but also we greeted for a draw to be able to power out a stronger bounty stalker, and mm -hmm. we have to pay the price of like occasionally we can take a little damage here. We're gonna take some damage to curse spell. It's something that we were ready for. I Imagine. wasn't ready for this. Oh, you weren't ready for this? No. Oh, I'm what sorry. I should have told you. We're gonna, we're gonna, we risked taking a little damage on Curse Fell here. It's not gonna be an irrecoverable amount of damage, and now we yeah. have a man who is. I think a we're net gaining HP still from this, so I'm not, yeah, I'm, not, I mean, I'm not actually worried. We're net, like, probably just gonna win the game, right? Pretty sure. Now, do you want to mold something here, like maybe Paraffin Bug to get a kill on mid floor luck uh, miraculously, which I don't think he does, but. He doesn't quite, but you know. Yeah, so I guess you just go Rector instead. Rector returns. Does a little casual 340 in there. I think we're in a solid position to win the game from here, although we did ruin our score, so was it worth it? What the fuck? I think we might actually be able to get a kill with Para from Yeah, Falcon. now we can. Now we can. He gets us a little 20 gold. Yeah, you're dripping him, but yeah. Decent. Get a little extra free 20 gold. I have 25 gold for that one. You get 25, yeah, 25 gold because of the memorial fund. Mm-hmm. And this is a run, like, you look at this, and you can look at this and go, oh, we only have 11 regen, but we were really hamstrung on actually playing our regen cards because of the curses. It's gonna look a lot better on Seraph, I imagine. Although Seraph does a similar thing to us with Chaste uh, existing. I think we can, I think the, the plan will be to sustain our, our hollow via uh, restoration detonations, and then, like, just save the saps for as it moves up the floors. Yeah. You want to take another bounty stalker here? No. Ah. Uh, you know, also, we could just win the game by duplicating this Bounty Stalker. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a cool play. We could just do that. And then we could just put it behind, like, Rector or whatever and have it be another monster. Yeah. Uh, I think we want to take energy here for sure, right? I, I agree. All right. I don't actually know what our path looks like here. Let's take a little peek, shall we? Uh, I like... I think I like right path for removals here. And we get we get maybe um, uh, another mul uh, multi strike. I mean, do we even want a uh, multi strike on a Woken Hollow? It really is just a tank at this point. It's not really yeah. doing damage for us. It's not bad though. It is giving, not bad. But... Giving it a little extra damage is nice because Bounty Stalker isn't would, quite I would, there. I would almost. I mean, it, it's. I, I think it's basically there. I would. I would hazard to say <laughs> that maybe we just want like plus twenty five health on him. Well, so As the reason, to, I mean, I don't know. Bounty Stalker isn't quite there because he doesn't one-shot a frontline heavy, so if a heavy walks up at 190 because Rector burns out, then Awoken Hollow can smooth it over a little bit. He's very close, though. Well, he's not quite there, right? He needs, like, three, four more? Four more? 32? I think I think he'll, I mean, I'm, I'm worried about Sarah. I guess I guess short-term, yes, it's an issue, right? Mm -hmm. Um, But we'll, there, we'll very likely get there in this combat by the end of it. Okay. I think we're going right for sure, right? And then we can start looking at our options. Because I don't... Yeah. I, mean, I don't. I actually don't hate going to the Trinket Merchant, though. Finding cool trinkets is fun. And we can find something that's a little defining. But I think that the right path is better, because removals, we want to get this deck down to probably 24 cards, ideally. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm in agreement. And, you know, if you want something fun, maybe the Cavern will have not Moonshine for us. Ah, no, it's definitely going to be Moonshine. I mean, we've seen a lot of really bad events here. I think. So... I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be the one to say it. We should probably remove resin removal. What? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the one to break everyone's fun. Okay. okay. There's, there's just, there's no reason to keep it. I know what the people are gonna say. Hey, what about the ember drain? But like, you can't resin removal one stack of ember drain. It's impossible. What about two, what about two stacks? How are we gonna take two stacks of ember drain? Like in, in, in theory, like. Uh... Oh shit! Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> we'd have to put Ember Drain I was, on I was, ourselves. I was thinking, in, my, in my head, I was like, you can get rid of two of them on like on the same floor, mm -hmm. but then they'll, you know, it's it's not worth it. The Ember Drain takes down, and yeah, 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 it's yeah, gone yeah, yeah. by the time you could play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like there's just no reason. There's I, I actually can't think of a reason to hold on to resin removal. Is there a single enemy in the next two combats that we are going to face or possibly could face that would ha make resin removal worth it? I don't think there's a single enemy in the next two floors that has a buff. Listen, just get rid of it, please. I just, I just, just look I just, away. I don't want you to see yeah, this. I'm not watching. 
All right. It's done. And and then get rid of probably a drag, right? Yeah, probably a drag here. We could also make a reasonable case for removing molded or. Uh, the other one, Wicked Blaze, because we didn't end up landing on this one. also not the worst case for Paraffin Thug either. He's kind of yeah. the purpose at this point. Yeah, I agree. Actually, that's way better, I think. Remove Paraffin Thug and then duplicate the Bounty Stalker and put it Ooh, in where Paraffin like Thug lot. was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think but maybe better. we wait till the next floor to remove him, though, because we'll have money still well, for it. Let's, let's look. Let's look. Right? Uh, the removal and the duplication are on the same line, so we could oh, do that. Oh, yeah. We can remove Paraffin Thug and duplicate him. Or not him. Uh, the other one. Mm -hmm. Alright, so yeah, let's remove a drag then. Okay. That's good with me. And we'll end right about where we want to be for cards. What's inside? A multi-strike or a plus 25. Okay, so now we get to God debate. We get We don't get to just go, okay, this is the better one. We get to talk about it. In my opinion, though, Woken Hollow should be a strong... He's going to have so much regen that his health number shouldn't matter. I'm A, I'm worried about the early game. Okay. B, B. Mm -hmm. Okay, when B. Compare, when you compare the damage multi-strike gains versus the HP gain in the Relentless combat, right? Mm -hmm. 25 HP, in the grand scheme of things, only gets us like one combat extra versus Seraph, right? Mm -hmm. But with our Bounty Stalker behind Hollow, that, that will amount to however much damage he's doing at that point. Hopefully 400 damage, right? Right. So yeah. the plus 25 gets us an extra 400 damage against Seraph and the Relentless. Um, does Multi-Strike do more damage in the Relentless? Than... No, absolutely not. Yeah, right? So that that's, that's the question. What do we care more about? Do we care about the extra HP for the Relentless, or do we care about the Multi-Strike to help us kill the heavies in this combat? Because next combat, it won't matter. He will hit through every heavy on his own. And by him, I mean Bounty Stalker. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking about it, and I'm going to tell you... I honestly don't think it matters. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think it matters too much. I, I, I I'm just worried about like Seraph somehow ruining us. Yeah. I. So here's here's the thing, right? The thing that I'm worried about, which is the damage, is n most likely not going to go through because of Rector and Paraffin Thug. By the time that Rector is burned out, Bounty Stalker should be at the like he should break the threshold and also there's like very few combats where that even happens there's a lot of combats without double heavies or mm -hmm. like very few combats have two 190s that spawn in and one if, if if we're duplicating this guy i don't think that seraph is getting to a one extra round sort of situation anyway yeah so it doesn't really matter i think that <laughs> I think I wonder if it's actually better to go spikes for just to clean up the backliners that go oh, up that's there. Not, that's not terrible. I didn't right? think about that. Like that's think about that cool. for a second. Although the spikes will get removed pretty quickly. That's true. Yeah, it's worthless against Chase. Never mind. Uh, well, I think I like the plus twenty five a little more. I also like the plus twenty five a little a little bit more, but not a whole lot more. Yeah. When you when I think when we think about it like that, it's like it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. And I, I, don't, I don't think we reroll. I think we just save our money here, right? Yeah, I wonder if there's a world where multi-strike pair from the We're getting good. rid of him next floor. Do not give him multi-strike. Hey, look. He deserves it. He's worked hard. Oh, this is a good event. We I take Petrified go... Heart here. Nah. Easy. <laughs> I, I think that... Um, what, what are we worried about, right? Like, there's two things. Like, Small Shard on Awoken Hollow is amazing, but so is uh, Blood for Blood. I think Blood for Blood is a here. little late. I would like to present to you a uh, small shard on Bounty Stalker. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's pretty cool. Although, how much do we care about him? Like, so it 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 doesn't make him survive an extra round of Relentless. He's gonna still, or I guess, I guess no, he, he might survive an extra round because if it's like you know not perfect damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I like that actually quite a bit too. It also means that he doesn't die to the pyre wings, and we can just don't, slap don't we, razor don't sharp we edges. Don't kind of almost want to die to pyre wings just for an extra trigger of extinguish? I think that it's not gonna make a big difference there. I I agree that I don't think it'll make a big difference, but like it's mostly just like, are we worried about the ember drain? To which I would say, uh, nah, uh, not really. I I can I can I can see it going on on either of them i guess and we're gonna duplicate it too which is pretty cool because then both of them will have the hp up yeah there. and then like if rector burns out on us then he can maybe bounties. survive around on his own before yeah dying. and maybe pop two okay. enemies i like okay, I, I, I think hearthstone i don't think blood for blood gives us enough value at this point also it's really hard to get health out of it 
So it's just going to be mitigating like a 15-3 walking up, which we hope just doesn't happen. Yeah. So I think it's Hearthstone Downy Stalker. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. I'm, I'm down with it. It's been a while since I've had a Bounty Stalker run. I think it's been like maybe a month. I don't play oh with this God. unit very often. Well, I, 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 I joked about it before a little bit about how he got nerfed. I think Bounty Stalker is clearly in the camp of you only take this when it's good for you sort of thing, mm -hmm. which is why his win rate was so high, which is why it got nerfed. I think Bounty Stalker is maybe the best example of a rare card for this game. Because he's like, he's a rare card. He's a rare unit. He wins you the game, but you have to build around him and plan around him, right? I think that, and, he, and when he, when everything goes right, he goes insane. Mm -hmm. Now, he's also the really weird one because he interacts with draw priority as, like, I, I can give you a blanket rule as, like, here's how draw priority works. And it works for everyone except Bounty Stalker because for some reason he's not a unit draft unit, but he has draw priority. It's like him and Dante break the rules, and I don't understand why. No. The multi-strike combat with a plus eight is scary. I don't think we need the money that desperately. I don't yeah. think it's worth the risk. Like we could we could get a couple of bad rounds here and then like just a gilded wings walks up and like hits us for eighty damage. Yeah. It's interesting to think about though, because in theory they should never walk up. Here's here's so here's what you need to know about this combat. There's there's only one round where there's two things even resembling a double heavy. There's a the very first round has a tank, one of the uh, armor boys, and a gilded wing and a wing conduit, and then from there it's all uh, chump blockers. It's all the little five threes, the wilt wings. Uh -huh. Which is interesting. I think it's so here's the the only thing we have to worry about is if Rector dies and we can't bring him back immediately. If you think that Rector is going to take 145 damage, which I actually think he shouldn't, I think we're okay to take this trial. Okay, I I trust I trust your math on this. It's like it, it's a little. I'm I'm worried about like there's a catastrophic failure and like Rector dies and we can't bring him back in time and we have rounds where two Wilt Wings walk up in front of the Gilded Wings. I think that can happen in this, right? Yeah, it can. Two the the two Wilt Wings. So the ways to be worried even about. In that scenario, I think we're okay still because I think what'll happen is. Uh, the Hollow will kill one of the Wilt Wings. Mm -hmm. uh, Bounty Stalker will kill a Wilt Wing, and then it sh at that point it should be able to one shot the Gilded Wings. Because I think, I think by the time that that round comes around, we will have him with enough intent on death triggers to one shot the guy. Yeah, I, that round is round three, and then there's also round four, which has a fifteen three spawn in there. I think that Rector should live long enough. I think that it's okay. The only thing to actually be worried about is Awoken Hollow dying, but since we gave him the extra health, I think we're A-OK -okay to take this trial. Should have given him the third stone. I knew it. <laughs> I think we're okay with two. I think we're good. I think, that, I think that this run is basically over and we've won. But, yeah, overconfidence could kill us. I always forget to... Factor in the damage from the steel wings and the wing conduit when I think about the math, though. 61. Hm. How do you feel about giving one of the saps to Rector just to keep him alive a little bit longer? I think that regen 5 is not a lot. What we'll probably do is we'll just throw him restoration detonations when we draw them. That, that is a good point. Hmm. Now, the do, interest... you put, do you put drags on the middle floor there just to kind of get him out of the deck? I'm wondering if we want to put the drag on the top floor to try and catch Collector, but it gets in the way too much, that, right? That, yeah, that's, that's, that's not worth it. That's like max greed. If we draw both of our units next turn, it's just doomed, right? We're already greeting enough here by taking the 400 uh, gold trial. Oh, the Collector! Oh, if we only kept resin removal. Yeah, if only. Hmm. But, like, the next wave is actually the wave to be afraid of, and maybe, maybe we are doomed. But it's nah, probably, fine. Yeah, it's Don't worry. Fine. I'm I'm not that worried. Oh, they both got preserved. Incredible. Yeah, he's got 15 regen. I can't believe we threw away resin removal and now it's gonna bite us. Unbelievable. Yeah, we have so many answers built into the deck. I think we're almost guaranteed to hit an answer to this wave, right? Because we have preserved thorns. We have two restoration detonations. It's mm -hmm. nothing to be concerned about. Yeah. All we have to do is make sure Awoken Hollow doesn't die. Yes, we throw that. Oh no. Now do you razor sharp edge the bounty stalker here? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna say like why I guess why not? Yeah, why not? 
I thought you were going to suggest. We should have put hold over on Razor Sharp Edge. Oh my god, look at how much health he has. Yeah, if, how, why didn't we anticipate getting a cheat out an extra 25 health event? God. Growing. Unbe unbelievable. Bro. Unbelievable. So, I believe that it's best to just play this Rail Spike at 4 here. Yeah, I like that. We're not hitting anything too crazy off of it, really, but... Getting to Preserve Thorn saves a little damage on this guy. Mm -hmm. It's fine. And if we don't hit it, it's whatever. Hey, we're missing two restores. Like, it's not, yeah. the, not the end of the world. Yeah, we're gonna break even. Actually, we gain a lot off of that. Yeah. Right? And we could, we could blaze back uh, Rector as well. Yeah. I get. Is there... No, I was gonna say, can we play it... Can we bring back Bug and put him bottom floor? But I'm pretty sure he gets murdered before he attacks anyway. Oh, yeah, he gets super yeah. killed. It's gets like... Unbelievably killed. It's extreme death. Hey, look at this, they even overthrow this Gilded Wing. Burn down the Gilded Wings. The damage output on this bottom floor is very high. <laughs> it is... It is a lot of damage. That is that is a lot of damage. That's like more damage than the worst round of Sap Seraph does to you. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> you gave him plus 8 attack and they have multi-strike, what do you expect? It's just a crazy. Uh, yo, the, I think the scariest one is giving the the Shade Wings plus eight. It's just a. Cr I think this is maybe the most damage you can see in a single round. It's I really close. I, there's got there's got to be like more somehow. Probably plus eight on the Shade Wings is a little more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the most you can see because you could uh, make worse rounds by using Ascend to just ascend like. Three of these guys into the same you say room. You can't put Razor Sharp Edge on a few of them. Yeah, that's right, right? We, we could do this, right? And then that guy's threatening 66 damage instead. What am I even complaining about? Oh, wait, really? What? He, 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 he was missing one health. No, he wasn't. I could have sworn I said he was missing one health. No, he was at 138 and the Rejuvenate triggered, I think, right? I, I don't know. I thought he was missing a health. Maybe he was missing a health. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just that card. Uh, Restoration detonation, it works very strangely. Yo, get Paraffin Bug in there, dude. Get him, buddy. Oh no. I mean, we may as well take the extra money here, right? Yeah. Free, free money. It's free money. We do want to try and kill this 9 6 if we have any way to, but I don't think we even have a way to kill yeah, it. Yeah, well, what on earth, how on earth would you do that? I don't know. Maybe Sting. Sneak a sting around on him. This is a lot of damage, actually. This is 52. Yeah. This is a lot. A little scary. Oh no, maybe... I think you were right. I think he was just missing one health. I was wrong. Stop preserving. Come on. <laughs> okay, we win. It's a little scary. That was a little, that was a little dicey. Oh no, it does, it does work this way. So if you rejuvenate the Awoken Hollow and take oh, him up by right. one health, he does five damage. That is definitely not how like that should bug. work. It is a bug. Like a bug. So a really interesting one you can see is if... I, I had this happen once. It's like Restoration Detonation on the Rejuvenate Sentient against a Wilt Wings. What happens is the Rejuvenate triggers first killing the Wilt Wings and then the Restoration Detonation does half damage because it only counts him the Sentient as healing for five. It's super weird. There's a lot of there's a lot of little things in this game that I see and I go, hey wait, that doesn't seem like that's how that should have worked, right? Fatal melting is the backline answer we needed this whole time. <laughs> yeah, now that we don't need a backline answer. I hate fatal melting. Yeah, it's 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 it, it's tough. It's kind of a terrible card. Yeah. Honestly, I think this card should just cost one. But I would not hate that. I don't think we should pick this here. Oh, no, yeah, I was I was making a joke. Mm. We do not want Fatal Melting. Hang though. on, but what if, what if we took Fatal Melting, then? What about Sacred Wicks, Wicks, though? Wicks. Oh, yeah. And Votaberry, I think Votaberry might secretly be one of the best cards in this game. I, yeah, I, I kind of feel the same way about it, because, like, you can, it, it very, it's very easy to understand. Oh, you play it, it dies, you draw a card, mm -hmm. and then it comes back next turn. And, play it, yeah, right? And so if, if you, you have... You need a Harvest Trigger for it, but hooray... 
there's there's just so many things that interact with it right there's like hell's banners like the the, the one that gives energy and then there's the one that gives draw there's just so many great ways for votaveri to interact with your deck and just be incredible you want to pick a wake here i don't think i want to pick a wake here i i would i mean i think i prefer in i mean i don't even like in graph that no. much i don't think you want to pick any of these the only thing that's good about a wake is that we could maybe draw it off of the rail spike but well, we are going to a magic shop, I suppose. You know, I, you know that's a good point. What else are we going to upgrade, right? Like, not, there's not much else. I don't mind just giving it two cost downs. Yeah, no, that's not bad. Yeah, you know what? That sounds fine to me, actually. Yeah, I like it. All right. Welcome aboard, Awake. Left path here, of course. Yeah, I have a question. Okay. Do we remove Intent on Death Map from our deck? Like, mm. it still does things, right? It still gives us plus eight attack. So I'm pretty sure it's still worth having. A good question. But like, I don't I mean, know. Intent on Death is basically uh, Razor Sharp Edge without the health loss right now. On Battle yeah, Stalker. Pretty good, still. Yeah. Um. And I think we take that, 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 whatever it was, the, the Sap Tap thing. Yeah, I think we take Sap Tap. I think we take Permafrost and two minus ones from here. I like Permafrost onto Molded or Wicked Blaze. Probably Molded a little better since it's cheaper. Mm hmm I agree. And we'll take our two minus ones on Awake because I think we always want to do this. And do we need the plus ten uh, on anything right now? Restoration Detonation's not bad. Yeah, I like that. Let's go buy our artifacts now and then we can come back here. So Saptap's great. Uh, Forever Flame, I think, is, is bad. Oh, um, boys, I didn't realize his name was actually Saptap. I was just thinking about the picture, and I was like, oh, what's that thing's name again? Saptap. You yeah, got I just, it. I just guessed. You were right. It's a great picture. Very descriptive. Good good job, shiny shoe. <laughs> I'm going to buy Saptap um, here. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And then I don't think either of these are worth our 260. I, I also agree with that, so I'm pretty sure we just re-roll this first, and then but we... I guess the question is, do you want to... Because we want to re-roll this, it's 85 oh, gold. Oh, yeah, we can re-roll this first, I guess. So I don't think we have enough money to buy from here and also over there. I guess, we... I guess let's re-roll the shop first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This and one? we'll see if the major upgrade is worth anything to us. It's not worth that much, honestly. Nah, we could hold over Awake, maybe, but that's really bad. I think we just give Awake yeah. a minus one and call it a day yeah. here. I, I agree. And then, with 260 exactly, I think we should just buy Forever Flame, because we're not going to be able to afford anything here. We could purge more cards, though. We can purge one card, or we can buy Forever Flame. What do you like more? I, th I, I feel like just Forever Flame is just so little value. Well, the thing about Forever Flame here is that it's going to be... It makes our first, like, three turns cleaner. But I guess we don't want to play the Wildwood Saps on our first three turns, necessarily. But here's what we should do. We should go over here, and we should do our removals now. Yeah. But we're removing do... Paraffin Thug, right? Get, get, get him the hell out of here. Goodbye, Paraffin Thug. And then what else? I, th I think a drag. I think we remove Wicked Blaze now that we have this card permafrozen. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I think we can get rid of this. The, 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 that makes sense to me. And then, if we duplicate Bounty Stalker, I'm just I'm wondering about maybe duplicating the double stack Wildwood Sap. I was I was gonna I was gonna say that too. It, it, they both make sense. I think the um, Bounty Stalker is a little better because what we're going to do is we're just going to play Rector Bounty Stalker bottom floor and then when they die we have an end- you remember, remember I talked about this at the start? We have an endless unit and we have a Rector with a Permafrozen uh, yeah. reform. We just make them fight twice against Seraph. So yeah, I think that that's I like better. It. I like it. I that like it so much. That probably kills Seraph, honestly. I, I think it does. <laughs> it's, it's really powerful. And then... I don't know, you want to remove a card or you want to take Forever Flame here? Uh, what would we remove? Just another Dreg? Probably, right? Like, what else is there to remove here? I, I like that a little bit more. You do? I just, I mean, don't, I just don't see what Forever Flame does. Like, it just, it's just free uh, early we already, cards, right? We already have four energy. I guess the other thing it kind of does is it makes Bounty Stalker free if he ever dies, for whatever reason. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about that. That's actually a pretty cool point. It's yeah, not like... we, 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 I don't hate that as much, then. 
It's not like he's gonna die, but like, really what it does is Forever Flame means that when we play Awoken Hall, we also just get to play whatever healing cards are in he, the deck. He, he will die at some point. I think at, at that point it actually does matter quite a bit, because like, there will be a, a time where we have Rector and we have a Bounty Stalker, and that combo will die and we'll move them up to the second floor. Mm -hmm. And then on that turn, we need to play them. Yeah, and so then we play I, out the rest I, of our And, and that turn also, I imagine, you know, we will have removed all of the garbage from our deck. Mm -hmm. we want having to play. energy on those turns would be a lot more valuable. Yeah, we want to play, like, the healing cards that we draw with mm -hmm. it. Yeah, exactly. It's like one extra. It's probably worth, like, one extra restore, basically. Mm -hmm. You, you, you've sold me on Forever Flame here. Okay. For that specific reason. I just think that Forever Flame is usually better than a removal, because what are we going to remove, right? Okay. Nothing is too... But, like, like, but, right. but in this case, we're going to get rid of the drugs anyway, and then this will help us more at the end of the combat. Yeah. Reasonably strong run, I would say. You know, talk about it, say, reasonably strong run, we have a monster. We have a 202 times 2 and I'm over here going, yeah, reasonably strong. This is a, a pretty good setup for us here, too. Yeah, like, it's pretty much all good, right? I yeah. think we just play it like this, play these guys up here, Stay don't hard. play these. Yeah, don't play this. Although, out. there is a reason to consider playing it, because we have wing clippings, right? I don't like I don't like it that much. Yeah. I feel like if, we were like, if it was like, oh, oh, we need, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. It hit a bunch of garbage. Actually, that yeah, was... Yeah, it did hit, that was a bad hit, but like, it's okay. you know, just, get, just getting drag and restore out of the deck is pretty nice, though. And preserve thorns, too. Oh, it preserved, which is actually, I think, really good. I don't know if more stings is good or not. I guess we just take our 50 damage on Seraph there. Yeah. Eat it, Seraph. You nerd. So how, here's what I want to ask. How do you feel about the Channel Heart Preserve Thorns combo? How do you think it went? Um, I feel like it's done very little for us, but like it hasn't hurt. I don't think that 25 gold mattered, so like I'm pretty yeah. okay with it. It, it, it. I think it did like very minor things here and there. Like, it did save us a little bit of damage on the... Like, it saved us, like, 22 damage. Ultimately, I think that either choice we win this run, right? It wasn't the determining play. Do you Since, awake uh, Rector here, just to keep him not from dying? I was thinking about that, but we have the Molded Frozen, so we don't need to, uh, right? Oh, yeah, fuck him. Yeah, just let him die. Honestly, just die, Rector. No one likes you. I do like I do like the land of the dregs in the middle <laughs> floor, too. Yeah, these guys, this guy's gonna come up here, this Lightwings is gonna come up here, and he's gonna get killed. He's gonna get murked. I wanted to. I wanted to ask. Do you think we should play Wildwood Sap here? No. I, ah. so I feel like we're, if, if if we get to a situation where like we're worried about his HP, we can start putting the Saps down early. But the mm. longer we wait on them, just the better it is. It's just potential value because lost because of the wing clippings, but it is lost mm. on a coin flip. So, you know, just worth considering. Can we ever get Rector enhanced enough to kill a heavy? I mean, we can, but should we? I don't, I don't hate know. it honestly. I don't. I don't hate it that much. When we bring we bring him back, he keeps his upgrades, right? Yeah, I think it's better just to keep his health. Although 150, it's better to keep his health. I think. No. It's close, and it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, I gotta remember we have sap tap now. God, bounty stalker. Imagine if he wasn't nerfed, he'd be at like. Probably. How much do you think we lost here because of the nerf? Like, I mean, we can do we can do the math if you want. He's got, he's got. Well, he starts with ten. So this one's two eighteen. So he's triggered. What was he at? Two hundred eight. Two twenty six yeah, now. So... Two sixteen. Hold on, I can do this. So two sixteen divided by eight. Twenty seven triggers times ten. He would be at like two hundred eighty damage. Huh. And so he lost like. What, 54 damage? Yeah, and look how much has mattered. Yeah, I can't believe they would got this card this way. He used to be so good, and now look oh, at him. Preserved. I think at this point, is it issue how many times you preserved it? Yeah, I think we have to stop playing it. It's, uh, we're now to the point where we're overdrawing, but we are going to just start drawing like 10 cards a turn. Oh no, they're dead. Whatever shall we do? I'm do, back, you, bitch. do you want to play them like we? There's, a, I guess, an argument to play them mid floor because we might leak uh, that 15 damage boy now. The one behind the two gilded wings. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, yo, no, 15 damage to our pyre. Dude, this restore is hanging in there. I don't even know. I, I mean, we will leak them, but it doesn't matter. We're fine. Yeah, 
We could. Oh, we kill this guy if we play preserve. No, stop it! Don't, don't, Wait, don't. But we could though. No, you're gonna. We're gonna not get any of our saps for when we uh start the relentless. <laughs> but we could do it. Think about it. I, I thought about it. Just give it a little longer of a think. Oh dang! The the ember wings do have 150. Why do they think they have yeah. 140? The rector used to one shot them before he lost five damage. Mm -hmm. Ah. No. <laughs> I mean, we could uh -huh. do it. We have five stings in here. It's another, we're missing 75 damage. I'd rather just bleed the heavies. <laughs> then admit, or I mean, I'd, leak, I'd rather leak the 15-3. The the rather leak than admit that this was the greatest play of all time. All right, it wasn't have been enough. Wait, what? Oh, it would have been enough! Oh, man. It would have been. Oh, wait, it was enough. Never mind. We didn't have to. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> and what a, what a champion. And we were talking shit about Channel Heart. Where are Channel Heart's haters now? Nice. Okay, start sapping. Begin the sap. We drew all three of them. I don't think. Are they even gonna make it? Uh, back around. Uh, yeah, I think so, because of the stings. No, no, I mean, is, is Seraph gonna even make it to the top four? No. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think the stats even matter. This is like, this is the one where it just feels like we could have killed, like, three Seraphs. We could have killed a lot of Seraphs on this one, yeah. Oh, wait, it might just barely make it. Never mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> now you, now I give you permission to use the Preserve Thorns. Perish, Seraph. We could have killed a lot of Seraphs here. Yeah. It's interesting because at the start of this run we were talking and we were very, like, we were very analytical about how we were going to go about this, and then... I, I think that this was a run where we, we left ourselves open to a lot of different lines, right? And one of them did basically come true here. We did the Rector Endless Reform Plan. Yep. Which is honestly really solid. It's something that I, I think is a little more abstract, but... You know. I think we got maybe the best unit for it, though. Yeah, probably. Like the uh, we didn't get to the endless tome, but we just got a great unit for endless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Closing thoughts on this run. I like to do my closing thoughts here because you can't press the button to open ah. the deck when you press continue. Okay. Um, very strong run. Could have killed honestly. Like, I, I wouldn't say two seraphs. Actually, maybe two. two uh, uh, two three seraphs probably, time. because the top four killed seraph probably twice at least. You think so? Yeah, because we had like 40 regen up there. We had 10 free rounds on that guy in the back was doing like 272 yeah, right. times uh, 2. He was doing 500, well, if, so every... If we, if we had two serves at the same time, no, they would be doing 60 damage a round. Yeah, so that'd be too much. We yeah. could kill Seraph twice consecutively, though. We could do at least oh, 8,000 yeah. I, I think we could kill three Seraphs consecutively. Probably. Very, uh... Very strong run. We, ha we hit, like, everything exactly when we needed it, right? We hit Endless as soon as we found Bounty Stalker and then Multi-Strike mm -hmm. right after, and we hit the Holdover yeah. right after Intent on Death. Yeah. It was just kind of crazy. I think we've we've earned it, Cranberry. After some of the the slogs that we've uh, cr crunched through here, a well, nice well, I mean, the last one was pretty smooth. I thought. What was the last one? Was that the spike yeah. run? That was uh, the one with the two clans that you hated. But it's still, I think it was, I remember it being a pretty smooth run though. So. Umber melting. It was, uh, it was umber melting. I think. What did we do in that run? Let me look. Are you going to YouTube and looking? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the YouTube yeah. and look at what I titled yeah. the video. Well, well, while you look that up. I'm going to plug my Twitch channel. Oh, yeah, do that. Uh, Twitch.tv slash CranberryGod. Um, I've been playing Monster Train. Maybe maybe if we start doing this magic thing, so maybe I'll stream a little bit magic as well. But, okay. Um, Getting I'll there. I'll just be doing Monster Train for the, for the time being. Uh, there will, be there will of course, be a link down below in the description. Please click it and then click the follow button to follow Cranberry. You don't have to click the follow button. You, you should click the... Watch and see. You, should, you should see if you like the stream first before you uh, follow. No, you should just follow him. It's free. It is free, I guess, but... You should also like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Yeah, don't that's subscribe free. to the video, you subscribe to the channel. No, no, subscribe to the video in case I put this video out a second time. Have you done that at all yet? Uh... No, I don't think so, because if I try to upload a file that I've already uploaded, YouTube goes, Hey, you can't do that. It'll actually say that you've already uploaded this once? Yeah, it'll stop you. 
Oh, dang, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I tried to do it once on accident, and YouTube was like, Hey, wait a minute, you've already done this. It's very nice of YouTube. But yeah, do I mean, like... What do you think our score was here? Uh, it's probably about 46,000. 46,000, really? Something around that, yeah. No damage on Seraph is a big score bump. Ah, 37,000. Well, you was not even close. I was not even close. Because we took uh, damage on Fel. I can't believe it. We lost. Actually, no, why was the score only? 46,000. I guess that's a that's a higher score than I would expect, I suppose. Yeah, I we didn't... I've never gotten one that high. We didn't take all of the trials, and we took damage on Fel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Covenant 25. We didn't, we didn't take many trials. I'm looking at it now. We only took three. Yeah, we didn't. I mean, we, we took three. There's only five trials you can take. Yeah, but like, I, I feel like I always take like four or five. Well, this trial yeah. was... Uh... Oh, it was the spell shield on the Sycophants combat, which would have been very scary. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this trial was... What even was this? Um... It, oh, it was the damage on the clergy, right? Oh, yeah. Ace Corgi with damage. Well, Cranberry, that's another one on the books. What are that's we eight, eight in a row. Eight in a, oh, my God. Eight in a row. It, it's really unfortunate there's no way to, like, you know, verify that these are, like, legit. Like, very obviously, we, you know, we could be like, oh, this is definitely our eighth recording, wink, wink, right? Like, mm -hmm. but, like, yo, we're going to get, like, a big win streak here. I mean, yeah. Now I've doomed it. Like, I, so far, I, I honestly think that since these videos are longer and they're more analytical, it's a lot higher of a win rate because we're trying and like oh, we're yeah, talking yeah. out every play. I, I agree. I, I think that we're going when we're going to lose to a run that's numerically unwinnable, which I don't think there's a lot of. But if I were to take a guess, I would guess that we lose to like a spell weakness Tethys with no good starting spell into a bad draw. Yeah. It's probably going to be what takes us down, because we've conquered Umbra Melting, we've conquered... I mean, honestly, the fact that we won that Animus of Speed, root the enemies a bunch of times run, <laughs> makes me believe that we're going to find a win no matter what. I, I uh, Let's make a pact here. Um, when we get that Conduit run, or when we get that Tethys run, we pick Conduit instead of Spell Weakness, just so we don't I, lose the Spell Weakness Tethys. I actually have been thinking about this, and I think it might be right to pick Conduit if you don't have a good starter spell. I, I want to try it at least once, so maybe we'll do that next week. I guess you'll have to tune in, viewer. Anyway. End the, end the video. End the video. It's over. It's over. Go home. Stop watching. Go follow Cranberry on Twitch, and like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week for another great episode of Co-op. Goodbye.